What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be talking about Generation 2 being released, sort of, along with the Christmas event. Let's get right into it. So for those of you that are unaware, we were told that on December 12th we were going to be getting the first look at second generation Pokemon or the second generation of Pokemon Go, which was definitely alluded to be second generation Pokemon. So we were very, very excited about that. And what we got today was definitely second generation Pokemon, but not exactly what a lot of us were expecting. So instead of releasing second generation all at once, which is what a lot of us thought was going to happen, they decided to split everything up into littler releases over the next few months. At least that's what they said in their official update. So I'm going to take their word for it until they say otherwise. So the Pokemon that were added were baby Pokemon. Again, Again, this is Pichu, Magby, Elekid, Cleffa, Igglybuff, Smoochum, and Togepi. There's also another baby Pokemon in second generation by the name of Tyrogue for those of you that don't know. It's the pre-evolved form of Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and another evolved form of it which is Hitmontop. People are speculating that right now they're not adding in Tyrogue specifically because Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan already have different candies and they're probably trying to figure out a way that they can merge those candies together to make Tyrogue candies before they add them in. Moving on we got part of or possibly even all of the holiday event which is going to be a limited edition Pikachu that has a little Santa hat on. It's absolutely freaking adorable. I love it. And it turns out if you evolve this Pikachu it won't lose its Santa hat. It becomes a Raichu with a Santa hat, which is just fantastic. So until we actually hear word on whether or not Pikachu is going to retain the Santa hat after the event's over, I would recommend against spending too much time catching these Pikachus, but if they will retain the Santa hat, then they are going to be a pretty rare Pokemon down the line, so I would recommend getting quite a few of them, again, if they make this confirmation, which they haven't at all yet. When trading comes out, these sorts of Pokemon are the things that always have a lot of value right off the bat, so just take my word for it you're definitely going to want to get as many as you can if they'll keep the santa hat afterwards so going back to what we were talking about earlier the second generation of pokemon go is going to be rolling out over the next couple months most likely so i'm going to attempt now to give niantic some tough love because i absolutely want them to succeed in everything they possibly can and they have absolutely missed what they should be doing right now with second generation maybe they have requirements on when they're going to have to have certain updates or certain features out by or when they have to have significant updates to the app but I really really feel like they're messing this up as far as second generation's release is concerned. See overall they could have made this a huge thing. Second generation has a massive amount of people in their 20s that are going to be having a lot of nostalgia about playing second generation right when it came out. It was a big deal guys. It was the follow up to a very successful game and a lot of people got it when they were a kid and they played through it as a kid, myself included. So when people say that they're nostalgic about Pokemon, they don't necessarily mean just first generation. Every single generation of Pokemon game has a generation of people that are going to be nostalgic about it. And they could have taken full advantage of this. They could have made it so there were certain deals in the shop on incubators or on Pokeballs or whatever else they wanted to. They would have sold tons and tons of Poke coins and people would have been out in droves to catch their old favorite Pokemon that they're nostalgic about that they remember training in the original games. When a game like Pokemon Go gets a massive update like the second generation update we've all wanted for so long, there tends to be a crazy resurgence in players for a short period of time. And that's not going to happen with this most recent staggered update model that they're going to be using. I mean, I totally understand why it at first glance seems like it's gonna be a great idea because people are gonna be coming back every few months for their favorite Pokemon that they're all nostalgic about, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I mean, everyone has the few Pokemon that they're gonna wanna come back for and they're gonna catch that Pokemon, but as far as the casual players are concerned, you want them to all be coming back at once because then they influence their friends to come back and they go all out and play it and it tends to make things go for longer than if you stagger the release and only a few people at once are hyped so you end up with these small groups and they die off so much quicker than if you had the massive groups like when the game first came out it just doesn't make any sense to me if you guys have any insight as to why this is happening and why they made this decision please 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 let me know because I think what they're seeing is that they can just drag the second generation hype out as long as possible and they'll make money off of it for that long 
and that just isn't the case. And guys, this is coming at you from a place of love. This is not something maliciously meant. This is not something I'm mad about particularly. I'm totally fine with the way they're doing it. But this is not going to be the massive resurgence that they could have had, and that's disappointing to me. See, as a Pokemon Go YouTuber, I want Pokemon Go to succeed. So when they do something stupid, or at least something I think is stupid, I'm going to say something about it. But I'm really hoping that everything comes out a lot quicker than I'm thinking it's actually going to. I'm hoping we see a little bit more as far as a Christmas or holiday event is concerned. I do think it's going to happen. I think we're going to get a lot more, even if it's only just a double XP, double Stardust, double Candy type of deal like the Halloween event, Thanksgiving event. I still think we're going to see something, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And obviously we have shinies and customization that's going to be coming in the very near future, at least hopefully, so be hyped for that as well. And I will see you guys back here very, very shortly for a vlog. We're going to be searching for Santa Pikachu, even though I'm not very excited at the way that they're handling second generation. It doesn't mean we can't go try to enjoy it, right? So I'll see you guys back here very shortly with that, and until the next one, peace.